This is Randy Thompson coming to you live. We have Trudy Adams on Miss Annie and Susan Faulkner Evans on Bo. We're working on the quality of our canters. Susan, as you can see, is doing counter canters to canters to uh, whatever she can because she's doing second level, so he has to be very adjustable. That's right. Now, when he's not leaping is when you're going to add your half halts. He's saying it's really hard. Yep. Good. He should react sooner to your leg to go forward. I know, I know. It is funny when somebody says this, it's like, you should get on here and try that. Good. Get them more connected so the reins are alive. They're more alive when the horse is connected from the leg to the rein. Good. Nice. I like how you're adding that to your counter canter. Let's get him to soften his jaw, soften his pole. That, that's it. That's our, oh, he, he's expressing himself. <laughs> People think he's such an easy horse to ride. Good, Trudy. Now you're going to round her up. Think more of a shoulder in. See if you can get her to lift, so you're going to do half halt on the outside, rein and leg now, 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 there, now, feel how you're getting more of a leap? Let go on the inside, rein, let go. At least I'm getting a canter. Yes, yes. Yeah, home, it's like halfway around and That's Susie, right. Susie has to come to my house, or I have to come to hers, <laughs> and then they're like, oh, I'm not at home. <laughs> That's it. Now you take your walk breaks when you need to, Trudy, because I know the canter is hard for anybody. Good. That's where he has to. You've got to get your rein soften his jaw when you come up and down in those gates, Susan, because you're going to need that when you get into the upper levels with him. That's right. Soften his jaw before you trot. So when you go into the trotter, you're changing your leads. You're not asking him to connect first. So make, yep, you can feel the little disconnect. So you think that little disconnect is going to take you down to a five or six. So get him a little stretch before he changes gait. Yep, he's got to stretch just a little bit before he changes. Think stretch. Think stretch. Much better. Much better, Susan. So he has to give you at least that or you will not get above a six on your transitions. Good. So you're going to get her, her nose to the outside. It's all right. It's all right. Just send her forward. Put your hands down on the neck. Start her over again. Annie's thrilled not to be at home, as you can see, looking for her herd because they're not here. So we're teaching Annie to be away from the herd. She's getting ready to go into competition, so we want her to be relaxed. Good, that's all right. Keep your hands close to her neck. Just ride her through it. There's nothing you can do wrong right now because she's testing you a little bit. She's not being bad. She's just saying why. Yep, make sure he's got the leap. You can feel there's no leap there, right, Susan? If he's not leaping, he's not in a second level balance. So every time you feel him go like that, he was going okay, but he wasn't rocked back to where he had his shoulders up higher. Okay. So you want to practice shift him back. You might have to collect every two steps or whatever, shorten the stride, right? Yeah, that's right, you felt it there. So you've got to keep putting him where his shoulders are higher. And at first you'll find he may not be able to do a medium or a lengthening because you'll say, oh my gosh, his shoulders are dropping more than I want. Good. Show him where you want him to be so he has the leap. That's good, Susan. Good, Trudy. Keep your hand close to the mane. It's all right. You're doing great. This is hard. This is only the fourth time she's ever stayed connected at the canter, right? Yeah, that, keep that in mind. This is only the fourth time Susan's balanced bow at this level. And it's not easy. What do you think, Bo? Keep that seven on that back end, though. That's right. Connect her more. Get a little more demanding. That's it. Praise her. Praise her. That's it. Praise her. Slow down the front end. Soften her jaw. She's running away with you. There you go. Good, good. That's all right. That's all right. Remember, very good. You remembered the stretchy trot out of the canter. Good, Trudy. As soon as she starts rushing, tr stretchy trot. That's right, because we'll have plenty of time to canter. Good. When you're asking her for the canter, I know it's going to be impossible. You're going to ask her to soften her jaw and pull before she canters the next time she breaks. So, yep, keep softening her pull. It's all right. H have her stretch. Soften her pull. Soften her jaw. Make sure she gives you her neck. Then you're going to ask her to canter. So you're going to take a little more time setting it up right now. Soften her jaw, soften her paw. You can hear the little baby Winnie over there. 
And then when you feel he's warmed up, we'll start doing the lateral stuff. Good, soften her jaw, soften. Good, Trudy, soften her jaw, soften her pole, praise her. Good, soften her jaw, soften her pole, because you'll feel it. all of a sudden she'll start leaning, right? When she's leaning, you've got to soften her jaw and soften her pole. Usually when a horse is leaning, it's because the rider's holding the rein a second too long, which is normal with a horse and rider going through this part of the training process. That was very good. Yep, give yourself a walk break. Yep, that was good. Okay, give yourselves a little breather here. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Yeah, it might be time for...